me, Tyler, you get the final call. I would make the call to make him look like Tom Holland. That's because insane, I'm like, because my job would Why? be like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, do you want to know how much bonus money I'll get when the next game sells 50% more copies than the first game did? But you'd still be making a ton of money anyway. Why does no, it matter? But no, yeah, but, no, but because more. Because I want more, James. You're not <laughs> exactly. fucking Fuck understand you. that. <laughs> You're just you not ambitious. Oh, this, oh. But this is the thing, man. You don't <clears> think like that. That's why, first of all, you, you're never going to run a gaming business. Like, it's just no, not no, going no, to happen. No, I want to. And, and that's why when we run, as always, you let me make these calls because we'll make... Oh, no, money. no, definitely not. Nah. Because we'll our audience is too smart. They're too smart for that. They can't be tricked. No, well, when we... Okay, first of all, the, our audience now is smart. They're the hardcores. Wait till we have all the masses and then the sheep come in and we flock them in. Um, you know? Yeah, nah. Nah, I'm not having it. Yeah, mm. you'll I'm going to have to take... I'm going to have to take the higher position. Yeah, this. good luck with that. Good luck with not that. Having you, no, I'm not having you replacing me with Tom Holland. Jared was, you know, was enough. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. You've already signed the contract. I have my lawyers draw it up, so... You, you don't get a choice. Ah, shit. I'm going to come to the office one day to do a, record a podcast, and Tom Holland's going to be sitting in my chair, and we're like, fuck's sake, man, I told you no. <laughs> uh, James, is oh, in the contract. <laughs> and he'll Every do the contract intro- ever. Yeah, Tom I Holland mean, just British. replaces you at some point. He's, he's British, so it's fine. It's good enough. No one will be able to tell. We're both like the same height, you know. Yeah, yeah, true. Short true. British guy. If you, Short if British you, guy. if 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 you grew your hair out a bit longer and then spiked it right up, maybe, yeah. Why yeah. not? That's what we're That's gonna it. do. That's All right. it. Anyway, I guess so. Go. Most of the console war has been fueled by people by by toxic little kids in in chat rooms and on Twitter and all over the place going. Eh, my console's better. <laughs> and and one piece like, of plastic just, is the best. Just one. sit in the corner and pick your fucking nose and shut the fuck up. <laughs> didn't yeah. didn't he go at Naughty Dog and then Naughty Dog just went fuck off? Yeah, yeah. yeah and and uh, and he went, he went at Rockstar as well, didn't he? Went before Red Dead Redemption Two he dropped. Did indeed. He went at yeah. Rockstar and then people at Rockstar went fuck off. Yeah, because he tries to find these people that will talk. Like, he's like, let's find someone who will say something bad about the company, then I can write about it. And yeah, then the company well. will come back and be like, well, this is actually what happened. These are actual people that work for us. This is what they have to say. And then Jason Stryer's like, no, this one person said you bad, so you bad. I guess, yeah, maybe yeah. you just got into the wrong industry I'd, there, you know? I just, well, you're working I for too big a studio, that... too big a project. Go work for, a, for an indie developer. I'm sure that pays really well. Maybe they Fucking should use hell. maybe they should use Jason Schreier's face as Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that. Please. He's such a hero. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I love wanna see that. De- someone deep fake it so that when Spider Man walks out in that like little reveal clip, it's actually Jason Schreier and he's there <laughs> and he's fighting for the <laughs> for the developers at C D Project Red. Because he and really no, it's not, it's just not, cares it's... about him. That symbolism there, like we see a And try to make him look Fire as King. much like Ezio as possible as well. <laughs> but yeah, no, but obviously he's got to sell. It's got it's gotta make money. Give him a bit yeah. give him a bit of credit. <laughs> it should but have made him see... look like Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. or, or better yet, Jason Schreier. Oh, oh, so there you go. Yeah. That'd be incredible. <laughs> You know, it starts to hurt your head. But PlayStation nah. 6, PlayStation 7, they'll just keep going. Yeah, but they'll I have iPhone like body 10s and 11s. They'll, they'll keep going. Yeah, but iPhone yeah, also so... skipped the iPhone 9. It doesn't exist. They just yeah, went, fuck it, the really iPhone 10 me. in Roman numerals. Yeah, that bothers me. And then they just said, oh, it's 11 now. We're back to normal numbers. Yep. Forget about yeah. that. <laughs> that yeah, no. Yeah. Forget about the Roman numerals. Yeah, we that, don't that, yeah, it's just need the normal 11 now. Yeah, that was so annoying. But, it, can but they, there we When are. they get to the iPhone 69, can they put it back into Roman numerals? So it's iPhone oh, LXIX, okay. please. Yeah. That's funny, yeah. right? Because you'd think at some point these companies would have to change because they're going to be going for ages. They're going to be making these products. Yeah. Either the iPhone's going to die or they eventually are going to make an iPhone 69. Like, like <laughs> that's, that's such uh, a weird concept to that. me. Like, is Apple well, going to die well, before I wouldn't, that point? I wouldn't worry about it because we will, we will be dead. I don't know. Will I we? don't want to be oh, dead. Yeah, I hope so. iPhone 69 I hope so. They, re- <laughs> they release a numbered, so. a numbered phone every two years, don't they? So it won't be yeah. in 69 years. I it'll certainly be in hope. Double. It'll be in 100. It'll be, yeah, well, 128. No, no, 100. Oh, that means I'll yeah. never see it. I'll never see the iPhone 69. That is actually really sad. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a crying shame. Oh, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about oh, it. Oh, God. Cam.
<laughs> oh god, it's really. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, it's, it's really overexposed. This is such a cursed <laughs> podcast. I'm this so is sorry. honestly. People don't understand what was going on behind the scenes. We probably should talk about it. Yeah, we yeah, should. This is, oh god. What a disaster. Nightmare. I talked about the karaoke going on, but like, George was. It was going to be a Four Pillars episode. George got sick. Um, then, like, James's camera just wasn't working, and I was just thinking to myself, guys, do we just call an audible and the universe is telling us don't record today? <laughs> Delayed the show 24 hours. But here we are, we're recording, we're trying. Screw and the universe. Yeah, fuck, the universe. Fuck you, universe. Fuck yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't change it. Leave oh, it then. Can, Allow like... it. It's fine. Let's allow this episode to be cursed. I might have to, Because it's not yeah, going any other it. way. And yeah, this nobody, is just the way it is. Nobody yeah, watches a podcast with me in it to not to not witness things oh, go God. cursed. You know, That's everything true. needs to go pear shaped. Otherwise, what is the point? Yeah, like, do you play? Do we all go? We're not playing Valhalla. Fuck them. We're not playing Watch Dogs. We're not playing any Ubisoft game until the change. Or <clears> oh, happily like not hurting, play Watch Dogs. Is, is that then hurting? the good people that are working for this, this yeah, that's company. The, that's like, the problem with who's, doing when, At what point, who pays for it? Because at the end of the day, Eve, Gilmo needs to fucking go. Hey, Eve, yeah, it needs fuck to, you, so. man. You gotta go. <laughs> He's gotta go. Step down, <laughs> be get fired. Get fucked. This dude needs to get fucked because you're mm-hmm. gonna tell me he doesn't understand or know or he didn't father that sort of culture within the company. He's been CEO of for fucking years and years and years fuck this guy absolutely fuck this guy he is a massive part of this problem you you, who's Mm -hmm. you've got to take responsibility for that you have to as the ceo for this to happen you can't wash your hands of this and be like i didn't know like That's, we changed, we you especially are, you know, you know, you are, you, of your employees, and you you've got tens of thousands <laughs> of experience it's or uh, witness. Even let's pretend, let's pretend Eve had zero clue any of this ever happened. That just makes him. You not are the most incompetent at, leader of yeah. all time, and you've got to yeah. go too. Either, Either way, way you failed your go. employees and you failed Either your way. company. Either way, it doesn't matter. You, yeah, you need to fuck off. You need to fuck off. He's the one I want. He's the one I want to go. He's the target to me. He's the one I want to go. I would love to see it. I'd love to fucking see it. It's not going to happen, though. I just don't see it happening. I disagree. I think it could happen. I think he's too powerful. I think he's in too high of a position. I don't think there's any amount of shit we can do that will get rid of him. I just think he's too safe. Well, if Brett could start yelling, fuck you, Eve, at E3s and not, I love you, Eve, that would be a great Yeah, that would be incredible. And we'll start selling, fuck you, Eve. He'd get kicked out. How about this, James? Fuck you, Eve merch for on the As Always Ooh. Teespring, or something along Ooh. those lines. Some sort of Eve-related merch about like telling him to go fuck himself. Let's spread the movement. Um, F- hashtag Fuck You Eves. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> put, get that all over Twitter. <laughs> we are for <laughs> I'm sure. I'm we sure. Are, Eve's, I'm sure Eve frequents the place. Maybe you'll get the message. I'm pretty sure you could find footage of me on a podcast saying if this next Assassin's Creed game, I'm not playing as Assassin for the moment the game starts, I'm going to break the fucking disc and my yeah, console. Yeah, you did say that. I did say that. And then yeah, here's, that here's, the here's the thing, thing here's the thing, I'm going to backtrack. Here's the thing, I'm going to backtrack. What if, what if though, the prologue of this game, you play as an Assassin for like the first five minutes ah, before you play as Avalon? Please. Similar to how you play as Leonidas at the beginning of Odyssey and you play as bloody Templar bloke at the beginning of Unity. Templar bloke. Um, they love, we love, they love doing we love, that. We love, un- we love time, unnamed Templar bloke. Templar wonderful... bloke. Yeah, Jack de Molay's unnamed... friend. Jack de Molay's friendly Templar unnamed bloke that gets stabbed <laughs> yeah. by an assassin. Love that guy. Yeah. He's my favorite. Yeah, he's, guy. My, he's my favorite Assassin's Creed character ever. You know, he's, he's when you're fighting the nails. guy and he's got a normal sword, and then it goes into the cutscene, and he's just got the sword of Eden. <laughs> it falls to the ground. It's great. <laughs> Quality. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Um, but I guess for, for some last thoughts on this Valhalla story trailer or like the assassin type things, did it get you at all excited and just remind you of like, especially that key art of like, oh, this is what we want to see in this game. The key art this is, is fantastic. I tell you what I really liked, and it gave me very much vibes of like uh, AC2 Brotherhood Revelations was seeing Eivor standing in what looked like some, it looked like an abandoned building, but it was like an yeah. assassin building where you've yeah. got like yeah, the no, assassin... That's... Uh, banners the assassin and stuff. yeah that got me excited oh, that bit my god oh that was so that was good. like yes get me this game it looks you know so well good. that uh, that that's how i felt about that i was like i, I do yeah. want to play this now like i do want to play this and you know, just and, and, and imagine going to constantinople at the end of this game 
because that's where oh, could you imagine, like yeah. Basim came from. Like yeah. he takes yeah. you back to Constantinople, and the game ends in Constantinople. 